Love it. All right, I, I talked about chalk, and we are getting to chalk. The Ohio Bobcats. Frank Solich still doing his thing. He's doing a little dance, making a little love. He's getting down tonight, you know. They have uh, they got a Rourke back at quarterback again. Yeah. This is what, like the sixth, seventh, eighth straight year? <laughs> I mean, it's just ridiculous. He's this Mr. One, Consistent. This one is Mr. Curtis Rourke. That is uh, the younger brother of Nathan Rourke, who was a starter there for four years. This is Curtis's second season as quarterback. So six straight years with the Rourke behind center. Uh, he did get experience last year. That's good. They went two and one, only played three games last year. Uh, but they bring back basically the entire two deep on offense. Yep. And that is insane. I think that's like, <clears throat> I think that's a big deal. Yes. Uh, defense looked good, but they looked good against Akron and Bowling Green. So Yeah, they only know, played it, three games. Were they super improved or were they not? Schedule does set up really well um, after, you know, flashing a great running game last year. And now, again, only three games, and two of them were against Akron and Bowling Green. But, but the schedule does set up well. Like, they can absolutely beat Syracuse in game one. They play Duquesne, but then they play... At Louisiana and at Northwestern, so probably open up two and two. The win total here is six and a half. To go over is minus one forty five. To go under is plus one fifteen. Projected winning uh, or projected record, excuse me, seven and five by SP plus six and six by FPI. So it's right on the number. Uh, I'm going to go over because I think this Ohio team can absolutely, absolutely win a bunch of games. One of their projected losses is at Buffalo. Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, I like Ohio's, that one. I mean, I, I could see Buffalo winning some games. Buffalo's not going to go over by any stretch. And I, we talked about how I think this, this conference is going to cannibalize yeah. each other. Let me let me tell you a game that I think they have a chance to win. Okay. Every year I think Northwestern's really good. Northwestern loses all of their bad team non-con teams. Yes. They always play a max school, and they always lose to that max school, and that's when they usually win their side of the bracket. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think Northwestern's really good. I absolutely think Ohio can beat Northwestern. I think I, I feel well, you know, we're gonna talk about title and, and all that good stuff. We'll we'll get to that. But hey, so I've definitely I'm going I'm go with that. I'm going over. Yes, over I, the six. I do half. think they're they're probably my favorite team in this division. Yes. Yes. I think they're gonna they're gonna win one for Solitz because I think Solitz is gonna retire soon. Yeah, he's he's been doing it a while. I don't know if it's going to be this year, but he's been Maybe not. he's been doing this a long time. Moving on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B G and Any, at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.